if I'm not going to put my capital in the harm's way, then neither should you. Everyone thinks this big epiphany is going to happen where you get anointed and uh, you're a trader all of a sudden. And it doesn't really work that way. It's, there's not like a huge epiphany you're going to have. But you're gonna have a tiny, a bunch of tiny little epiphanies, and hopefully I'll help you get there by saying things. But like I said earlier, like loosen your stops a little bit, but adjust for the volatility. Adjust, adjust your share size down to keep the risk the same. Adjust for risk, okay? So lots and lots of little things like that. Number seven hundred forty-seven thousand one hundred fifty-eight. Make sure that you don't need the money. So here again is the CLO. V, a client of mine uh, and I were texting each other. I, I, I no longer ask him if he has certain stocks because he'll tell me uh, if he does or does not. And he told me, he said, I effed up again. I needed money in that account to buy something. I was going to call his broker after I sold it for 281. Worse yet, I looked up at 317 today. That was a few days ago. It had the money to buy and hesitated. F me, doing really well again, but this pisses me off, LOL. So, and, and I'm picking on this guy and I, I texted him, hopefully I, I didn't have a chance to read what he wrote, but we go back and forth and I admit a lot of uh, mistakes to him too. So it, it's a two-way street, but it, it exemplifies the point of how it really is a million little things. And he, he needed the money out of this one account or in his case, I think he chose to take it out of this one account. And that's a that's a bad idea. You can't go into a trade and need money because if that trade goes against you and he may have, he sold close to the low, which sucks. I know that, but you know, and, and again, the thing about looser, looser stops, right? If you were using a stop around 275 or 281 when he got out, you would have gotten knocked out on, on just this little correction and noise alone. If you go back in and watch all the archives, if you can't sleep at night, you'll see that it's like, hey, this stock is it's not, I'm not happy that it's not going up, but it hasn't done anything wrong. And the point I was making, and it's a little hard to see in this spread out chart because it looks really spread out, but that's only a couple of weeks. And it, 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 Pulled back, it rallied up a little bit, and then just kind of consolidated a little bit. Longer term, it's still an uptrend. Notice that it never even took out its 30 EMA, which is a great little reference point. But anyway, make sure you don't need the money. And nowadays, it seems like you always need money. Everything's so expensive. Now, number 100,286, revisited. Make sure that you see each position to its fruition. And that's also a lesson in patience and also by saying see each position to its fruition i mean just follow the plan i know it's easier said than done and linda was asking me is it hard for me to to show everybody what i'm doing because she likes to keep her cards close to the vest well for me it actually helps me follow my plan I may have been tempted to give up because, like I said the other day, it was kind of like a, chi a Chinese water torch. You're going down a few cents every day, a few cents, a few cents, and all of a sudden five cents. It's like, oh, damn. But what am I supposed to do? What am I telling my clients to do? Follow the plan. So my answer to her was it actually makes me a better trader because it forces me to follow the plan because if I show you a chart, I want to come back hopefully the next week and say, hey, look how this worked out. Good, bad, or indifferent, hopefully good. Anyway, uh, this email reminded me that a lot of people probably gave up, unfortunately, on this trade. Now, you're gonna have losing trades, okay? If I get rid of losing trades, you never see my fat ass again. And that's one thing that I've done before is try to figure out how to eliminate the losers, but then I realized that that is a holy grail hunt in and of itself it's it's it comes with the game you're gonna have losers and unfortunately more than you care to but i guarantee you a lot of people would not be able to hold through that now what's interesting is and i remember it felt like forever because of this chinese water torture right to my surprise that was only 14 days now if this thing goes on for a year or two let's hope right we can hope a little bit you want to hope your profit gets bigger and fear that your loss doesn't get any bigger. That's that's okay to use that type of hope. But hopefully for this, for years and years and years, that 14 days is going to look like that much. 
and I know it's kind of hard to see that forest for the trees, but it is it is a lot, a lot of patience. That's one thing I was going to get into tonight a little bit was patience. It's like you need patience to wait and wait and wait for a setup. It's been two weeks since I put a setup on and I, and I, I was feeling a little pressure for my clients. And it's like, no, I, I, I'm not going to put a setup on just to show you a setup. If I'm not going to put my capital in the harm's way, then neither should you. 